Hello friends. We are going to talk about basic constructions in this session. So friends, let's first of all uh, see what do we understand by constructions. A construction as an English word means to build something. So when we talk about construction in mathematics, we mean construction by construction we mean that we draw angles or geometric shapes accurately using a compass and a ruler in pure form of geometric construction and why do we say pure form of geometric construction because in the initial phase of constructions we sometimes use protractors for angles which cannot be made using compass say an angle of 32 degree 34 degree and so on so uh, it's only in the initial phases of learning that we do that but in the pure form of geometric constructions only compass and ruler are used to draw the shapes accurately so uh, now an important point that comes to mind is important question actually that comes to mind is why do we restrict ourselves to using compass and ruler when we can use protractor to draw a figure now import now we need to understand that if we use protractor then it will take multiple iterations to make the required shape say for example we want to uh, draw a triangle and you know if we we know one angle we draw this this angle using a protractor but other things we have we'll have to make multiple iterations say for example this side is given to us we don't know where this point lies so we'll have to do multiple iterations to be able to make this triangle using a protractor and a scale but when we use a compass and a ruler it in the first iteration itself we get an accurate shape So now let's uh, let's see how do we make how do we construct bisector of a given angle. So now let's say we are given an angle uh, we given this angle ABC this angle and now we need to draw the angle bisector of this angle. So with B as the center where we keep the compass we open the compass and draw this arc which cuts this AB in at the point E and cuts the ray BC at a point F now we again open the compass equal to more than half of EF and then with F as center we draw an arc here and with E as center we draw an arc here and this point where these two arcs intersect let's call it G we join B and G and now this angle ABC is bisected and we get angle ABG which is half of angle ABC and we also get angle GBC which is again half of angle ABC now why did we say that we need to open an arc more than half of EF? Now, if we open the arc less than half of EF and F as center, we draw the arc, we'll get something like this. With E as center, we'll get something like this and they will not even intersect. So, we will not get a... These two will not intersect and we will not, not get the point which needs to be joined with B to get the angle bisector. Now let's look at the construction of perpendicular bisector of a line segment which is given to us. Let's take the line segment AB. So we have this line segment and we want to draw a perpendicular bisector of this line. First of all, what do we mean by perpendicular bisector is a point, a line basically which divides this line AB into two equal halves and the line is perpendicular to AB. So that will become a perpendicular bisector of line AB. So now again we do a similar thing with compass open more than half of AB. 
and AS center and we draw these two arcs, one above the line segment AB and one below the line segment AB. Now from this B as the center and the same arc, same, same radius which we've opened in the compass, we draw another arc on the both upper and the lower side of the line segment and we get these two points, Let, let's call them C and D, where these two arcs intersect. Now, if we join these two points C, D, we get this point, which let's name it E, which is bisecting the line A, B into two equal halves, which means A, E will be equal to E, B. And this, since this is a perpendicular bisector, the angle A, E, C will be equal to angle B, E, C and both will be equal to 90 degrees. So this is how we construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. And now let's see how do we construct angle 60 at a point on a ray. Now we are, let's take a ray AB. Now we want to construct an angle 60 degree at an initial point A of this ray. Now what do we do here is, we open the, open an arc, open the compass with some radius, say, from the point A, we draw an arc with that radius. Now, this arc intersects the line, the ray A at point E. Now, with E as center and the same amount of, same radius, the compass is opened with the same radius, we draw another arc which intersects this previous arc at say a point C. Now we join point A and C and the angle that we get is 60 degree. So now this is the basic construction that we do here. Now if we want to make an angle of say 30 degree, how do we construct an angle of 30 degrees? First of all, the basic construction is, again, we construct an angle of 60 degree and now we draw an angle bisector, which we've already discussed. With point E as center, we draw a uh, radius more than half of C. We draw this arc. With C as center, we draw this arc. And this point, we get D. And we join A and D. And that is the angle bisector of 60. 60 so the angle will be 30 degree. If we are to make an angle of 120 degree so now the 60 degree we've already made now with same radius and c as center we draw another arc here and we get a point say g and if we join a and g we get an angle of 120 degree so for drawing to 120 degree, we simply have this ray at this point, the initial point of the ray, we take, we draw a semicircle of any radius with the same radius and this point of intersection E, we draw two arcs and the second arc, this point, if we connect with G, with A, we get an angle of 120 degree. Now, if we want to get 90 degree, if we want to construct 90 degree, how do we do that? At, again, at point A. Now, we know 60 degree, we have 80 degree. So, we draw an angle bisector of 60 and 90. So, we get a 30 degree there and 60 here. So, we get 90 degree. So, at from point C, we draw this arc. From point G, we draw this arc and we get this point. Let's name it x and if we join a and x we get 90 degree so this is how we construct different angles using 
constructions. So we can clearly see that if we are to draw something like 15 degree, it is quite easy. We draw an angle by sector of 30 degree. If you want to draw 45 degree, we draw an angle by sector between 30 and 60 and we get 45 degree. We can get 75 degree in a similar way by drawing an angle by sector between 60 and 90. So these are the ways in which we can get the different, we can construct different angles. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.